Ready, set, research. Hi everybody, my name is Daphne Villarreal and my research revolves around social media. So let's do a show of hands. How many of y'all use Facebook or Twitter or Instagram? That's right, all of y'all are on your phones right now using it, right? <laughs> so social media is the future. Everybody uses it. We use it for communication. Businesses use it to grow their sales. And now instructors are using it in their classrooms. Yes, there is a place for social media in the classroom. But first, let me tell you a little bit about my theoretical framework so you see where I'm going with this. James Paul G. actually did a study on multimodality and video games. Kids nowadays are playing multi, or, uh, are hyperactive with, with video games and they're using their controllers, they're watching their screens, they've got the headsets going, they're multitasking. And teachers are getting frustrated in the classroom trying to teach in the traditional manner. You can't do that anymore. We have to take the skills that students are learning through their video games and other activities and transfer that into the learning environment. So let me tell you a little bit about my research now that I told you I did my homework. I did a qualitative study and I interviewed a couple of instructors from all ages, uh, including middle school, high school, and college level. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about their best practices. So one instructor I actually interviewed, he's a college professor teaching freshman literature. And he was telling me all about how he's trying to teach them about Romeo and Juliet, but he's competing for his students' attention. They're all right here with their iPhones, right here with their iPads and their computers. So he decided to bring that into the lesson. So while some students are trying to learn about Romeo and Juliet, he sees the kid who's trying to do his own Romeo action on the side, he decided to bring Twitter. What he does is he has all of his students set up a Twitter account at the beginning of the semester and they learn to take notes. This way they learn how to take concise notes that actually will remind them of the main points of the lesson. With the magic of hashtags, you can actually combine all of the notes that the entire yeah. classroom takes into one feed. So at the end of the semester, kids can just go back up and see, oh, hashtag Romeo and Juliet, and you see everything that everyone wrote up. That helps collaboration within the students, and it brings teamwork. Another professor that I uh, interviewed told me about how she uses a Facebook page to have students and parents engage. They hear about upcoming events, when the new STAR test is coming out, and helps foster peer-to-peer -peer mentoring as students can discuss the homework assignments online. So you see, social media does have a place in the classroom and we need to get on board while we can and find a way to engage all of our students and have a, the, the best environment for our students in the future. Thank you very much.